let's see what the app is all about i'll use blur i'll play everything hi guys it's daniel once again today we'll be having a comparison of two different video calling app zoom and google do in today's video i'll be showing the basic function of both apps i'll show you how to use both apps and also the basic settings in both app so without further philandering let's get right into it So we'll be starting with Zoom Cloud Meeting. I'll be giving a direct link in the description so you can find it easy to download. Once you open it up, you'll be greeted with this screen here, which is a join meeting, sign up, and sign in. So this join meeting here will give you the access of joining a meeting without signing up. If you should click on it, it will ask for your meeting ID. Then if such meeting has a password, once you enter the ID, it will ask for your password. So once you enter your meeting ID and your name, you will be able to press this join meeting. Now we have two join option. You can decide to mute your audio when joining the meeting and you can also turn off your videos. Now this button here will take you to your recent meetings if you have any. Now you have some settings you can play with around here too. This is the version you can send feedback you can invite others to zoom you can read zoom on google play store then this meeting settings here you have the option to auto connect to audio you can mute your microphone turn off videos show video preview show non video participants stuff like that you can use the original sound or you can decide to disable the original sound now the safe driving mode is if you are involved in a meeting while driving it is recommended to use the safe driving mode then the reaction skin tone you can decide to change the skin tone of your reaction icon now going back now to sign up all you have to do is press this sign up button here and fill in the necessary requirements I registered my fingerprint that is why it is asking for a fingerprint if i don't want to use that you can sign in with your sso here if your company is registered to zoom then you can use google sign in here and also you can make use of facebook now i already have an account so all i have to do is enter my password and we are in so once you are in the app there is a top layer and there is a bottom layer on the top layer we have option for new meeting join meeting schedule meeting and also a share screen while on the bottom you have meet and chat meetings contacts and settings on the top left you have the star button in which you can see all your start contacts and here is where you can meet and chat now i don't have any contact in my zoom account yet so i'll just go back then here to see the meetings this is my meeting id here now you can send invitation to people you can send it through your gmail or copy to your clipboard where you can paste to those you want to have meetings with now i can start a meeting and i can also edit let's say someone just come up with your meeting id the password is very useful if you don't want just anybody to have access to your meetings you can change the meeting password here and this also means you have to send the password to those you want to be in your meeting or you can disable the meeting password that means anybody with your meeting i can just go on and join the meeting there is an option for the host video on if i created the group definitely i am the host if i want my video on i can enable it here. if i don't i can disable it then participant video on if i want my participant to show this is the button right here if i don't want their video to show then it is also here let's go back and in this contact tab is where your contacts are this is my phone contact my external then i can invite people to zoom can send them a direct message asking them to join you on zoom then the channel here well i don't have a channel yet but i can go on and create a new channel i can join a public channel then i can add an app so there is a marketplace where you can add some apps to your zoom app to make it more interesting i can even add twitter yeah so let's go back this is the settings tab 
contact tab the phone contact tab will help you to find those that are using zoom then the contact request if you have any request to find it here let's go back and here is the meeting settings we've gone through it then the chat settings here you can include your link preview you can receive notification for all message only private or nothing you can keep all on read message on top receive notification for keywords okay you can set do not disturb you can schedule it here you can choose to be notified only when you're active on your desktop you can disable alert sound or vibration if there is a chat going on that will notify you then we have the about tab here so let's go on and create a new meeting and see what we are talking about So at the bottom here you can mute your microphone or mute it you can start your videos to show you then you can go on and share you can share photos share documents to those that are in your meetings so the participant option is to show those that are in your meetings i am the only one here so the more button here will give you option to disconnect your audio you can type in the message to everyone in the group or you can specify who you want the message to go to then we also have the meeting settings now to go to the driving mode all you have to do is to swipe left and you can tap to speak go back now to view information about the meeting all you have to do is to tap on this drop down arrow here it will bring all the necessary information you need about the meeting this is my meeting id the host the password invite link and the participant id now to end the meeting just click on end button here now as the host you'll be having two options the first one is end meeting for all which will end the meeting and close the group now the second option which is the leave meeting will remove only you the host and the meeting will still be on so that is everything about how to start a meeting and how to end a meeting now to join a meeting, we've gone through it already. Just enter your meeting ID. Then if there is a password, it will ask you and then you can join the meeting. Now the schedule is used to book a particular date where you want a meeting to go down. Just go through it and fill in the necessary things. And so the share screen here is useful if you have a meeting ID or sharing key. Once you type it in, you'll be given direct access to enter a meeting so that is pretty much everything about the zoom app i hope you like it now let's move on to the next app which is google draw so moving on we have an app by google which is called google draw it's a video messaging app from google and what it does is that it uses your data connection to make video calls or phone calls and just so you know it uses only your data and not your normal credit so it has three main functions which is one-on-one -on -one video call or voice call then it allows you to make video calls up to like 12 people then you can record voice or your video and recently they added a new feature which is notes you can also send notes to people so i'll leave a direct google play store link in the description below want to open it up yeah so basically you'll be greeted with this once you open the app now to do a one-on-one -on -one video call or voice call all you have to do is to swipe up it will bring out the contacts you have that are associated with google do and you can also invite friends if your friend is not on google do and you like to have the person so if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one video call with the person just click on his or her name then you see here video call to start a video call then this is voice call to start the voice call then you can record a message so let's say we want to record a message once you click on it you can record your message in videos photo or voice and you can actually send a note to the person also this tab here is my photo tab if you give google do the necessary permissions to access your pictures then this button here is for video if you want to record a video to the person this here you can turn the camera either front or back 
then you have the photo option i can take a picture and send to him then here is the voice option now to record the video it is very simple just click on this record button here and it will record and as soon as you press the stop button it will play your videos to you to listen again so you can record you can add a note to it let's try the note option so here you can type anything you want google draw so here you can change the fonts you can adjust the position of the of the text you can change the color of the background and also you can draw if you want to my hands are pretty bad yeah i love you guys so you can undo and you can click on next here clicking on this button here will send this note to the person now to start the video call with the person just click on this button here call the person you can leave a message for the person yeah so to start a group video call just click on this create group here then it will ask you to select the number of people you want and you can select up to 11 people and you making 12 people just by pressing done the call will go through so aside from clicking on the contact and recording the message you can also swipe down to record a message so it's just the same thing the only thing is that you record your message then you select the contact you want the message to go to so let's see i'm recording hi 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 my name is daniel from how to do it today's tutorial will be covering how to use google draw so when you click on next to ask you to send to a particular contact i can select up to 32 people to send that same recording to so pressing this will take you to search the contact tab i can search for any name i want then pressing this dial icon here will take you to numeric tab where i can just put in the number and dial that's pretty simple then on the three dots here you see the settings the invite friend the privacy and help and feedback so let's go through the settings this is the account i'm using i can remove the account i can delete the account then i can replace it then under the call settings we have knock knock feature what this knock knock features does is that it lets you see your friends before they answer the video call instead of after they answer it you can see them before they answer the call as for me i've done it off so this low light mode here will up your videos at night it will lighten up your face in the dark i will want to turn this on so this data saving mode is for those that are having a slow wi-fi or you don't want your video calls to experience any form of lag mind you once you turn this data saving mode on your video quality will be reduced so we are through with the call settings let's go into the notification the contact update will give you alerts when your contact join those then new features you get updated when a new feature is available then special event and topic then you can change themes i can decide to go for the dark mode i can decide to go for the light mode or set by battery saver once my phone is in the battery save mode the colors of the app will change then block the user you can also block user on google do so anybody you block you will see them here and this add icon here is if you want to block a particular number on google draw so if you want to use this app on the desktop or your pc all you have to do is go to do.google.com and it will bring you to this same platform here where you can have a video chat with your friends and family i hope you find this video useful please consider subscribing i hope to see you next time thank you guys